Hey guys, so this is going to be a reading vlog. Ignore the blue on my sheets. It's literally my hair transferring. It's transferred really bad. I don't know why it's blue. It's green, but um, I think it's got like a blue base to it. Well, either way, it's, this is like the worst it's been for transferring. But the thing is, because it's getting hotter as well, sweat, like it's just transversity it's the crazy colors one i've not used crazy colors in a while so i forgot like how much it transfers but it's like it's pretty bad but anyway so these are the books that i am currently reading so i'm reading these are both rereads so battle battle scars by jason fox and a quick buy by lindsay sands so yeah um if I've got any other books, um, if I've finished any of these books, then I'll start a new book. Um, I'm hoping to maybe finish this one. No, actually, I'm hoping to, I don't know, f at least finish one of them and get halfway through the other one. Um, but yeah, so if you don't know who Jason Fox is, he, um, if you've seen SES Dares Wins, I don't think, he, I think he's still on there. I think he's the only original who's still on there. But there was kind of issues where he wanted to leave when Channel 4 wanted to do the whole mix-up and stuff. And anyway, and I think he ended up staying. I've not seen SES there. I've not seen it since Aunt Militon left. When I say left, um, they told him to leave because of allegations of him making women feel very uncomfortable, which he has a track record of doing. Um, but anyway, and this is a really heartbreaking one. Um, but yeah... He, he proper kind of like opens up and stuff and then this one is just a f <laughs> this one's a funny one this one is i don't want to give too too much away so i'm not going to mention it but basically it's about a vampire who is um scared that this she has the phobia blood i can't remember what it's called now um it is <laughs> said in here as well but i can't remember um which is obviously a weird one but you're thinking why is it weird but it's in a society where vampires now use blood banks because um um because they don't want to obviously be caught as being like vampires and stuff and um, sucking out like blood from these people and there's dead bodies everywhere so they turn to blood banks so for her obviously that is kind of you know an issue for her um but yeah it's, this one's a fun one um, it's one of those rare occasions where I actually like a younger adult book. Um, if you've watched my channel for a while, you will know that when it comes to young ad adult books, I'm not massive fan of because I'm not massive fan of the writing of them. There's a few that I do actually like, and this is one of them. I just feel that they're a bit. I don't know how to use the word dumbed down, but I think I've always been like that because when I was like fourteen, fifteen, I soon away like went away from the child section and went into the adult section um reading those like true book things but i don't know i'm just kind of i've i've kind of been that way i mean don't get me wrong i did still watch like read teenage books at 14 but i was kind of looking for more um but as i said this is like one of those gems that i do actually enjoy so before I do any um, secular reading, I'm finishing off my character develop the character study of Joseph in the Bible. Um, I'm nearly finished. Um, I just want to go over see if there's any other points um, I want to add on to. Also later on as well, I want to carry on on my study of One Kings. So yeah. I forgot how uniquely the the how um Lindsay takes the whole vampire like from what I've read in past vampire books as I said when I was teens I was obsessed like I was going through the vampire era I read loads of vampire books as well as adult books at the same time um by the way just to clarify in the what I said previously when I say adult books I meant those true story books about like being abused like, I don't mean, like, adult books as in sexual books. So I'm on about, like, kind of books that I should not be reading <laughs> at the age I was about, like, abuse and stuff like that. Anyway, 
back onto this so it's totally different to your average like okay the vam vampires and how it works and stuff this is more so like a futuristic kind of way of telling the backstory of vampires which i really like Um, as i said i've not read the read this in a while so now reading it, i was like oh now i remember as well why i like this story it's like a different take on vampires it's not like the typical kind of vampire history story this is told in a this is told in a very different way so in this pile other than biographies i have a lot of self-help from um so the guys who did the sas who does wins that one is just a biography um the biography the reason why i'm going to go through it because a lot of it now my eyes have kind of opened to self-help and how pointless it is self-help is to extent like don't get me wrong it's fine but if you bring in like biblical um scriptures into it it works but other than that you read it and you think what are you even talking about because the last Aunt Melissa book I got I couldn't even finish um I just donated it so I do want to go through them um because the irony of the fear bubble is i'd say it actually works but then again if it actually worked then i wouldn't need to read it multiple times if that makes any sense um i do actually have that as an audio book as well so i'm gonna reread that one um basically i'm gonna reread all of them um that one break point zero negativity that one might still be actually quite useful um but all the kind of like that one life under fire maybe not i don't know i've not read th this is the one that i used to reread a lot the others i've only read like once but i'm kind of over at militant's personality if i'm being honest with you uh it's it's <sighs> like i know he's arrogant and i know that's why a lot of people didn't really like him but it's kind of it's so obvious now it's like uh, anyway <laughs> it kind of rubs me not rubs me up the wrong way but it's kind of so obvious now it's like i yeah <laughs> not a massive fan and then this one anxiety for beginners i'm still going to keep this one because this is it's kind of more of like information like about the different anxieties and stuff like that it does have coping mechanisms in them as well but i do still you know find this more of like informative information if that makes any sense it's not it's basically not a self-help book is as such well not your typical self-help book if that makes any sense um but yeah so i want to kind of reread these three here as i said i've kind of gone off at middleton so i probably might read his biography and just be like over it um but yeah i do really like jason fox though so yeah i did read the biography of ollie uh, ollerton but I wasn't a massive fan of it because it felt very impersonal. Like, it felt more of kind of... Um, it felt like it was written like an essay. And it, it, I don't know, it just... With a biography, I like to... Biographies that are quite... Like, that feel quite personal. Because other than that, I might as well have just wrote in... Read an autobiography about the person. So, Yeah. <laughs> So it is currently midday, so I thought I would do a midday check-in. So on Battle Scars, I am on page 156. And then on Quick Buy, I'm on page 151. So it's pretty much like neck and neck. They don't have the same amount of pages, I don't think. But I feel that I'm probably going to more than likely finish this one today. I mean, in fairness, I might finish both of them. It depends. The only, I mean, they're both kind of... They both have lengthy chapters. This one has longer chapters. But then again, usually the longer chapters I finish quickly. Because if you didn't know, I read by chapters. Because I don't like stopping in mid-chapter. Because otherwise, I'm confused as to where I am sometimes. Especially if I've left it a good few days. I'm like, I don't know. I, I just like get confused. So I prefer ending on a chapter. Um, so usually the longer the chapters the quicker I go through the book opposed to shorter chapters if that makes any sense um but either way I think I'm gonna probably finish this one more quickly than this one I'm probably gonna finish this one first
and I am currently about to carry on my study with 1 Kings. So usually what I do with Bible study when I study a chapter, I usually go through a few chapters at a time. So usually I do five depending on the book. Sometimes I end up just doing one um one chapter in the page just because it's a very in-depth chapter and everything's like 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 everything's jumping out at me so it usually depends on what book in the bible king one kings is a little bit of a hard one to stomach um so i study from the new king james i do have the niv and then um i'll use my phone as well to look at other translations to help me kind of understand it and if that doesn't work then i go into comment i go looking on com commentaries online use this mainly as my study bible just because it's thicker pages so as you can see i've i've put sticky notes in it and stuff like that i just because my niv is thin page and i don't like thin page because i'm very vicious like there's some pages that are already slightly coming away and i just i need more of a durable bible for like study if that makes any sense i do want to pick up the nasb as well because i'm starting to really enjoy the nasb the NAS nsb is similar to the new king james um some parts i do refer the wording of the nasb um which is the new american standard so the specifically the 19 is it the 1989 i think because i know they have come up with a new one i think that one's like 2000 and something but i want to stick to the 19 what's it one so i do want to get a physical of the nasb but if you're wondering what the main translations i do use is niv and uh, new king james and nasb i do use nlt again nlt is a good one if you really need to kind of because it full on that one's that one's i think it's call it phrase by phrase i believe where new king james um nasb is word for word i think i'm not sure about niv i'm not sure if that's word for word i'm not 100 percent sure <laughs> i'm not 100 percent sure on translations and i've got the book of the psalms that's all in nlt um but yeah the story of king solomon is mental like god can reward you but then God's reward could end up... So God's reward can obviously is a positive thing, but it can actually turn into a bad thing and cause corruption and cause greed. Like there was one point where Solomon, where Pete Solomon was full of wisdom. Like he started as so humble, like so humble, and it just all backfired. But um, I can't remember off the top of my head what verse it is, but it comes to the point where everyone's going to seek Solomon for wisdom and they're bringing gifts and at this point Solomon is so rich like it's just told so many times like he had everything everything he had was literally made out of gold like it got to the point where silver was just he brought down the value of silver like it is like it was like mental and he accepted these gifts when he didn't have to accept these gifts he could have just gave them wisdom and be like then they can be on their way and it's just the early signs of how like greed and just wealth just started to kind of corrupt him and the one command that they weren't supposed to do uh was to um was to for the israelites was not to go with these foreign women because these foreign women will corrupt you and take you away from the true god and instead with their influence of the false gods and their false idols will lead you to them and that's what happened to solomon he's kind of he was obsessed with foreign women like he just the amount of wives he had the amount of wives he had was unbelievable and it ended up being his downfall because it made god angry because he he was turning away from God and building these high places for these false gods and it's just insane how it went how it went so great for Solomon and it just slowly just went downhill and downhill and downhill and downhill and downhill I'm not gonna lie I just want to go to sleep I am so tired I don't know what it is about Thursdays but Thursdays I'm always exhausted and I don't do any like obviously like of if I'm working, I'm working, I'm tired, but, like, I'm literally not doing anything, like, I'm not even, like, Thursdays, I don't go to the gym, so I don't know if it's just, like, a build-up of all of the past days, and that just makes me really exhausted, I have no idea, but Thursdays, I'm always exhausted for whatever reason. Okay, 
It is currently three o'clock and I am so annoyed because I forgot, last night I forgot to take something out the food through the zebras so now I'm kind of stuck today before having like pizza which, don't get me wrong, I like pizza but I didn't fancy pizza today I, but the plan was to have noodles and um, I think it's pork belly and yeah i forgot to take them out of the freezer so we are not having that i am having pizza they um probably have pizza i might still have noodles i don't know i know i have weird combinations are they going to be pizza it's either going to be pasta or um noodles but it's the pe you know the pizza circles the chicago town pizzas so i'm just going to probably just have that because there's nothing else in the freezer which i can just cook from frozen so i'm kind of annoyed so yeah. So um on quick buy I'm now on page two hundred and fifteen and then with battle scars I am on page um a hundred and seventy six. So yeah that is the little update. It's getting a little bit heated. When it comes to sexual scenes, <laughs> I kind of brush by them because I just find them cringy. I'm not that kind of I'm not really into that kind of thing and I forgot that this is kind of romance anyway but I kind of forgot how deep it went and yeah I'm, f I'm feeling a little bit cringe at this point <laughs> I'm just on that kind of it's funny because I follow a youtuber who literally just watched like reads me the time dark romances and some of them are like okay girl I, f I even though I don't really into like romance but I follow her anyway because her personality is ugh, I just love her personality I'll link her channel down below because she's just so funny but some of the books she reads her mother's worse so when she reads a TBR that her mother recommends OMG it is like how are you into that kind of stuff like what <laughs> like it is I mean it's like dark like not even it's like is there something going on in your life why you enjoy it kind of dark? <laughs> it is just after seven and I have finished a quick buy. I can't remember, I remember now how, I can't remember, I remember now how good this book is. It just has some steamy moments which I just go past anyway. Um, romance is not really my thing but w now I get why I really liked it it's the, it's, and why for a vampire book I still actually have it and still enjoy it it's the fact that the lure the their vampire like this the background she the story she makes it's other people in this this is there's other books in the series that follow other members in the family and I just love how she's made this like vampire world that's totally different to any other vampire lore that I've read before so yeah really enjoy this one if you're in if you if you do like vampire books then I do recommend you give this one a read because as I said it's very different some point I want to reread the TV Cameron's biography I feel for my generation uh, working class and um, around my age group are probably the only ones that don't like vote for conservatives i've always been a conservative person i know um obviously now my 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 it's changed because since david cameron left conservatives it's gone downhill just it's like watching it's like watching the titanic all over again <laughs> <laughs> but instead of being a ship it's a political party it's so bad like they should just dismember and just start all it get rid of every every member and just start all over him because there's no hope and you 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 snack or whatever his <laughs> whatever his name is it's just oh my days you thought boris was bad this guy this guy just doesn't i, I don't even know at this point i mean i've been praying for him sometimes but i mean yeah he he but anyway <laughs> as you can see it's massive i've only read it once but i do want to reread it seeing he's working back into politics it may not be a leader but he's still he's gone back into um you know into the conservative party but i will never every day i will that day <laughs> where he resigned and he was whistling that was just oh, that was moment because he didn't realize how stupid people were he didn't realize how stupid people are and 
that he didn't think people were going to actually vote to leave Brexit, and they, they did. I didn't, by the way, I didn't. But if you read the Bible, you will realise, actually, we shouldn't be making our own decisions, because we we really, we... It's in the, <laughs> it's in the Bible, just never give us, like, any kind of big responsibility to vote for things, because we're going to screw it up. <laughs> it's the final book update so you saw in the last clip i finished reading the um just a buy and then on battle scars i read all the way up to page 262 in fairness i could still read it and i'll finish but i do have work tomorrow so and i kind of be in bed like i like to like relax now because the problem with reading books just before bed, depending, sometimes I just want to finish it and finish it and I can't limit myself and I end up going to bed late, then I plan to go to bed. So, <laughs> I'm going to leave this vlog here, but yeah, that's it for this video, so bye guys.